Hi everyone, Miss Silla here, Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. We've had some really sunny and warm days here up in the Pacific Northwest. I'm in zone 8B. So today's video is just a quick one about why plants wilt or why are the leaves drooping, especially in the summer months. Um, one of the obvious things is lack of water. Um, so if your plants are not getting enough water, obviously the leaves will start to droop and can lead to plant stress. And if the plants are stressed, they're actually more susceptible to insect pests, such as aphids, mites, sucking insects that actually feed on plant juices. And also sometimes when plants are stressed, they can actually be more susceptible to diseases as well. Another reason why plants wilt is because of heat. So water is lost through the stomata of the plants and they evaporate in the atmosphere. And sometimes when plants actually start to droop and sometimes the leaves start to curl and turn yellow and eventually they fall is because it's the plant's defense mechanism sometimes they, they do this to try to get rid of some of the leaves to reduce surface area which will eventually lead to water loss through the leaves here is a dinosaur kale also known as lacinato kale and you can see the dinosaurs that our little us put in there because it is a dinosaur kale so she wanted to make her own little dinosaur garden anyway this plant is perfectly healthy and the main stem is firm but as you can see the leaves are drooping because it is warm so when the plants leaves start to droop like this it actually reduces the exposure of the leaves to the sun's rays which actually reduces the evaporation of the moisture from the leaves and this is what plants do to prevent water loss now most plants will recover when you water the roots and or the soil but prolonged dehydration can kill the leaves or even kill the plant now sometimes if plants receive too much moisture or the water does not drain well it can also lead to your, the leaves wilting or drooping and can lead to root rot now it also depends on what kind of plants are growing so just make sure that you give them proper care for instance cactuses do not need that much watering as well as some um, woody herbs like lavender rosemary thyme i don't really water them that much even the one in the container i water them maybe once a week or once every 10 days because they can actually thrive in leaner and drier soil now for other plants such as tomatoes lettuce those will probably need watering daily especially in the heat of the summer so just make sure that you're watering when needed and pretty much i'm watering them daily for the plants such as lettuce tomatoes um, more of the plants that are uh, moisture loving because it's over 85 80 degrees and so that the soil will dry out or dry up faster especially in containers so i'll show you real quick how to water a container plant properly and so that way when you water next time you'll know to water it thoroughly generally most vegetables and herbs usually need about an inch of water per week now sometimes you may need to water more often depending on where you live Okay, so when you water, you water the soil until it drains through the holes. That way you know that you are giving the soil enough water and your plants. Just like that. You can see it's starting to drip from the bottom. By the way, I love my new watering can. This is actually collapsible. So when it does not have any water, it collapses to about two and a half inches across. So I store this under the sink in the kitchen and the capacity is a gallon and a half. So I really love this watering can. I will leave a link below. I think they still have them on Amazon. If you are not mulching yet, this is a great way to reduce moisture loss and you won't have to water as often. I have about an inch of wood chips in this pot and you can use dry grass, dry leaves, hay or straw and you can apply between half an inch to as much as two inches if you have an abundance of your mulch. Now the wood chips we get for free from chipdrop.com. We started signing up for free wood chips about five years ago so it's been very helpful and has saved us a lot of money so if you guys can check out your your local extension office and see if your county offers free wood chips or even free compost knowing proper care for your plants so depending on what it is is a way to prevent the leaves getting sunburned or the plants becoming stressed so overall choosing the right environment for your plants or the right area a lot of plants actually thrive in part shade and right now since it's so warm leafy greens such as lettuce if you're still growing that throughout the summer and even kale will thrive in part shade and they're actually doing well and also cilantro so i've got that sown in the part 
or shaded area right now where they get mainly morning sun about 45 hours four to five hours a day so anyways guys i hope that you guys find this video helpful so water as needed again potted plants will need more watering than the ones in ground and you can do the fingers test you can stick your finger into the soil i showed you that before a couple of weeks ago in another video and i usually just stick my finger down until the to the first line and if it's dry then water as needed have a wonderful day guys enjoy your weekend and happy gardening so i'm still here just want to show you guys our miniature carnivorous garden look at this guys is not that fun stay tuned i'll do another video on this also check out our micro tomatoes so tiny look how tiny this is it's about six inches tall it's full of fruits these ones as well there's two in this one and i'm growing them and i believe this is a two gallon pot and this is three gallons this i believe but maybe four and a half gallons i got two tomatoes in there and i planted some top hat and i think it's sandria and Aztec micro dwarf tomatoes. Also started these about two weeks ago. We've got some perennial kale varieties here. And I think I've got um, Claytonia in there as well. And some lettuces. I put this in the shade since they are still tender and it's pretty warm right now. 